lipo battery disposals. How do you do it? Right? So I've always gone under the impression that what I heard on the internet was right. Oh, that's scary, isn't it? Uh, that, you know, you can just dunk these in a bath of salt water and leave it there for a couple days and it'll basically let it fully discharge and neutralize the batteries. And then they're safe to throw away or take to a local recycling center. Uh, I recently saw something online that made me question that. The person said that what all that really happens is that it erodes the tabs between the batteries and the batteries themselves are actually still completely has a voltage in them. Such like this 2S LiPo here from SMC. Really usually like these batteries. Got this recently in a trade and it's a dud. Barely takes a charge, doesn't have very good output, a little puffy. Dang it. I'm going to give this thing a salt bath and what we're going to do is measure the voltage in the battery before and after, take the case apart afterwards and really give it a careful look to see, does it really work? Before I stick it in the salt water, we need to make sure that it really actually has voltage in it. So, ohm meter on, oh, I have 7.7 .7 volts, I don't know if you can see that. 7.72 volts so we do have voltage there if i check the individual voltages here i have 3.85 and i have 3.86 so we're basically at storage charge as it sits right now now we just need to prep it for the water in order to prep it i take a container simple container and fill it full of water then I just dump a whole bunch of salt in it. Salt is very cheap at your local grocery store. You just dump a whole bunch in there. I know it's probably an appropriate mixture. Yeah, whatever, just dump a bunch in. And then, turns out, I like to solder on my own ends on my battery plug, so I'm gonna snip off these wires uh, so that I have that battery plug to reuse in a future battery. Then it's simply up to salt water bath, kind of mixed up is here battery is here i'm sticking it with the ends down all the way into that salt down there so that it can easily get connection now we just need to leave it there do you ever forget stuff yeah i i i sometimes forget things like the battery that we shoved in this salt water bath i um, actually shoved a couple friends in there with it some other batteries that were starting to die i put in there with it all at the same time uh and it's actually been i don't know maybe a month i said i was going to leave it for like 48 hours it's been like a month the water is actually evaporated out of it and we just have this funk nasty paste down in the bottom of it so i'm going to get these batteries cleaned off they have corrosion all over them i'm going to get all that rinsed off uh, and then we're going to actually pop these battery cases apart look at what's inside see what looks like the batteries look like on the inside see if we can actually detect any voltage across any of these cells to be clear according to conventional wisdom you now are done these batteries were soaked in the salt bath they should be dead you should be able to literally recycle them at a local recycler please find a place to recycle these it'd be awesome or you can actually just dump them straight in the trash can that's the two that's the wisdom that we have right now now i am going to be using a knife and other tools to cut them apart and look at the cells inside them i do not suggest that you do that you got to be very careful as you do it heck even i might screw it up which will make this video very exciting um but you don't want to puncture the cell in case there is any energy left in there, you may cause a fire. So if you choose to proceed with me along this video and be doing this yourself, you're doing this at your own risk. Please be careful. I'm gonna start with this Ovonic battery. It's one of my favorites. I usually like Ovonics pretty well, but it was, it was just at the end of its life. That's how light, that's how it goes. Pulling it open, it's of course glued together pretty well. Oh man, all right, case is open. So what we see here is a bunch of corrosion right there at the terminals themselves. We're gonna have to clean that up a little bit more to see what we actually have there. Here's where we need to be really careful on this SMC battery. I need to cut the tape on it. But I don't wanna cut down into the cell. 
again more of that corrosion down in the battery there so again you need to rinse more of that out looking at here is a decent amount of corrosion and just kind of general nastiness on these batteries you know so the key here is now going to be can we actually detect any voltage coming out of any of these cells trying to jump leads across any of those four cells that you see there can we get any voltage out of them all right, so what's interesting is here, if I had dead short across here, I get zero millivolts, right? There's absolutely no voltage coming through there. If I'm out here in dead space, right? Like these are clearly not touching anything or each other. If you look at this, you will see that it bounces all over the place. Like here's six millivolts, but as you move it around, I get to 13, I get to 40, I get to all sorts of different numbers over here. There's 20. And look, there literally there's 50. Look, there's literally nothing reading. 70. So we get lots of random readings just by like static in the air or something. I don't know. We're like we're getting some readings there. Now when I come here across this, there's one millivolt. There's 50. That's zero. There's 60. So like it's basically dead. If I'm, I'm these are I'm going off of the tabs off the battery itself. I'm not going through the I'm not going through the connectors. I'm going off of these big soldered tabs that are on the battery itself. Like we're actually getting into where the battery connects and it's showing like 60 millivolts, which is in the range of what I get when these two things are just out here in space. Let's try this other battery and see if we get the same results. As I was getting ready to look at this pack, one of the interesting things to see is you see the positive side just literally came off. So it's like the corrosion literally took the whole tab off. So, of course, trying to get a voltage through the battery will show that it's dead. But is the cell inside really dead or is it just that the terminals have come off? That's really the question. So again, I'm going to try to come in here. Again, here you can see where the tabs are coming off. 30 millivolts 40 millivolts man as near as i can tell this has worked i can't get like all the way in there as near as i can tell this is 100 percent working i don't see any issue at all i've now even taken this battery even further apart trying to get more down into the cells i still can't find any voltage down in there whatsoever I think honestly this has got to be confirmed if you soak your batteries in salt water for in this case i did like a month <laughs> but if you soak them in salt water you should be able to come out and confirm that there is no voltage across them yes the tabs and stuff do come apart they do come off but it appears that that uh reaction and, and killing the cells actually does occur all the way down in the cells as long as it is submerged in that salt water even as the tabs go off then that salt water just gets to the next layer and, and now we're going to do the last and final i'm going to say conclusive test of is this dead now if you have looked at any youtube videos online you will see that one board with uh rusty nails sticking out of it smashed into and puncturing a lipo battery will cause a fire okay so i want to know like if i put this battery in the trash can or in the recycler and it happens to get punctured or smashed does it still cause a fire or not so handy dandy fire pit in the backyard which i needed to burn some scrap wood anyway today so this is super convenient i'm going to hit it with a rusty nail on the end of a board and we're going to see what happens That is completely punctured. I don't know if you can see that. Multiple noticeable puncture holes. Nothing's happening. So boring. You all wanted to see some fire, didn't you? Look at that. It's literally punctured. It's literally in the battery. Let's use another board. Punctured in, holding it on, nails in, no fire, no nothing. That is a dead battery. 
I'm really glad to know that this actually works. It gives me a little more peace of mind. Obviously, I go through a bunch of batteries. There's a lot of LiPo batteries that are used in the RC industry. It gives me some peace of mind to know that this does work. So if you are doing this and if you are disposing of some RC batteries, please find a local recycler. It'd be awesome to be able to get these reused back in the market, get their raw ingredients reused. I'll try to provide some local links down below as to where you can actually go to recycle your LiPo batteries. If you do the salt bath test, you know, clearly I tested it like a month. So if you're going to stick it in there for just 24 hours, 48 hours, be careful. Maybe it does need longer than that in order to actually fully discharge. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.